with the first question, the usual one. They ask you which one of the molecules doesn't show EZ isomerism. You know that if you want to have this sort of isomers, you must have two conditions. Number one, a double bond to restrict rotation. Number two, you must have two different groups around that double bond. So if you look at the ones I have, they're all good. They're all, all like you have different group, different group on each garment. With the exception of B, I have two identical groups. Meaning if I flip, take this, flip it upside down like this, it would still be the same, right? So that is not going to show isomerism. Okay, so that's why I have picked B because you must have different groups around each the carbons in the double bond. For number two, what's the systemic name of this compound? You can see the longest chain I have. I found that long chain we always look for. It's this one. Go up. There are two carbons. So how many carbons in total do I have? I got one, two, three four, five, six. That's hex. Now, these shown here in green, these are branches. So those here will be considered as branches. You got a branch on the second carbon. You got a branch on the fourth carbon. So for that reason, the correct answer is hex. And there are two branches, one on the second, one at the fourth. Second page. If you take an alkene and you react it with bromine water, what are you expected to guess? We know that test of saturation alkene turn bromine water colorless. Upon shaking, it turns the bromine water from orange to colorless. The product we get here is not the first. That's if water was only the reactant. The second, if it was potassium manganate. The third, if you have hydrogen bromide reacted. And the last is the correct one because then the last I got bromoethanol. You get alcohol as you react alkenes with bromine and water. So you get the water part, alcohol, and bromine attached to it. Now, how about this? They want me to make the monomer and they gave me two repeat units. So that is my first repeat unit here. That's another repeat unit. You just copy it and restore the double bond. So I'm just going to copy one of those repeat units and I'm going to stick the double bond in the middle and you could see that this is the correct one.